Hello, I normally don't do this, but I am making a video to address the object show community in regards to recent harassment and calling out of certain individuals. I am not going to mention or give an example of any single person. I'm not calling anyone out. This is an address to everyone as a whole, and I think everyone needs to hear this message. When I joined the OSC back in 2011, it was not perfect, but it was a grand time. Everyone was so connected. You could work with the most well-known people or people with just one subscriber. It was truly a big, happy family. As the years progress, uh, you know, people change. The community has definitely evolved over the last 10 years, and I'm not expecting it to be the same it was 10 years ago. That's never going to happen. But the way things work now, I just don't understand why people have to be the way they are. What I'm talking about is harassment, singling people out, canceling people over something that they do. Now, when someone does something you don't appreciate, it's not best to go on a rant and call this person out on every platform you know. Please address them personally. I really do not want to spend all day listening to this drama. There is no need to ruin someone's career because they make one mistake. No one is going to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I've made several stupid mistakes, but you shouldn't hold people to such a high standard. The average age of someone in this community is around their teens and no one in their teens is perfect. But the way someone behaves in this point in their life should not represent them for years to come. What I really want to say is most of this drama can be resolved simply by talking to the person you have a problem with. If you're already gonna be involved with something as severe as what's going on, just address the person directly. Don't make a huge scene about this and get everyone's attention. Because once you start getting people's attention, they start choosing sides. And once you start choosing sides, people will get divided and people will no longer be as a close-knit family as they were before. And that's not what I wanna see this community be. Back in 2011, 2012, 2013, there was no sides you could be on. Everyone was on the same ground. Looking now, there are so many lines. This Venn diagram of friend groups and who you think is right, who you think is wrong is so clustered. And it's hard to keep track. Obviously, as time evolves, people are going to make groups. And that's fine if you make your own friend group. Friend groups exist for a reason. When there's so many people present, it starts to feel clustered. You want to find people you're close to. And that's totally fine. I, I love friend groups. When you're with people who you enjoy, it's such a fun time. You can do so many fun things and create lasting memories. But when you're starting to harass people, you're ruining the fun for not only you, but for everyone. Everyone on your side and the other side. No one wants to see this happen. Now, obviously, the world is not perfect. Things are going to happen. But long story short, if you have a problem, please talk to the person you have a problem with. I know this might not be what you want to hear, but it is the simplest and easiest way to end an argument. Is that person going to listen to you 100% of the time? No, I don't expect that to happen. But when you make this public matter, you're bringing on people who don't need to be involved with this at all. There are so many people getting involved with drama that I know are fantastic people and I think are just being led the wrong way. Please stand up for yourself. If you see someone doing something you don't like, please just say no. And I feel like this community has so much trouble saying no. I know it can be difficult to say no when you have so many friends who want to work on so many different things. You don't want to disagree. You don't want to hurt their feelings. But at a point when you're working for so many shows or you're involved with so many circles, it's hard to keep track of it all. And people start losing their mind. Sometimes it's okay to take a step back and evaluate. Now, some people may be thinking, well, why would you make this public? Isn't the whole point of your argument to keep things private? Well, if I just address certain people regarding these kinds of things, the word is not going to get out to others. And I don't want to have to keep being a parent and policing how people behave online. I don't want to be that kind of person. I hate to be this kind of person, but I feel like this needs to be said because no one is wanting to stand up for themselves and it's becoming very apparent very fast.
I'm now addressing the people who don't know what's going on, what I'm talking about. Growing up is scary. You have so many influences from so many perspectives, and it's so hard to know which one's the right way. And I just want to tell you that it's okay to make your own decisions. You don't need someone else's approval to do something. Is what you do always going to be right? No, no one is perfect, but it's from these things that we learn our errors and we progress. I'm sorry if this kind of video does not your cup of tea and not what you want to hear, but I can't stand idly while people are getting harassed and singled out for things that should not be a public matter. Thank you for listening.